My name is Ontadili Mohuba and welcome to my channel. You guys know at the start of the video, we look crusty. It's fine. It will make sense at the end of this. Hi guys. So I'm going out. Hence, I'm not dressed. And I don't think by the end or the beginning of this video, where I welcome you, I look any different, alright? So, yes. We were here the last time I had just done my base. And um, we're here. So now I'll be just finishing it all up. Okay. First thing we're going to do is definitely set the face. I know that was the last time, we, last thing that we did. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm not in my usual room. Um, I'm in the other room. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm just going to go through the questions that I feel like are hard for me to answer, but I feel like they are very important for me, okay? So I will take number five, which is, do you sometimes feel like you are completely invisible, like people are looking at you, but straight through you? The answer is yes, especially when it comes to my feelings, right? I'm very, when it comes to feelings. So it's very difficult for me to communicate my feelings because people either take it as me being too aggressive or um, I can say I'm just being too dominant in the situation or I want things my way. However, I am also a human being. Just because I don't cry doesn't mean I don't have feelings. Anyone? Yeah, let's do another one before I dust this off. Um, okay, number 10 says, do you regret a lot of your choices? Never. I never regret any choices. The reason being is because my grandmother once told me that if you live your life in regret, you will never enjoy the present moment. There's a reason why a lot of things happened, even they bad or like they made you cry or the I don't know, they made you cry over a baby toe. I don't know, whatever happens, even if it causes you the most amount of pain, but it all has added to the person that you are today. And I do not regret a single thing because I wouldn't be the woman that I am. Yes, so let's dust this off. Um, the last time we were here, I'm gonna dust this off. I hate setting my face because it makes me look like a ghost. And it's because I naturally have, I don't know, do I have mad skin? Yes, I'll say that. I think I have mad skin. So I really don't need to do this. But because you work a whole and I have laugh lines. So I always need to like do something here, you know? Yeah, so I always set it because of that. If you guys have any tips or ideas, let me know. Because I can, I'm a beginner. I need help, alright? The next step, um mascara i am going to use the Rev revlon rather volumizing waterproof this dog when i catch it when i catch this dog that is barking i'm going to give it over to the people that are eating the dogs and the cats on tiktok in springfield they're eating the dogs the people that came in they're eating the cats they're eating they're eating the pets of the people that live there and this is what's happening in our country. Promise you. Certain everything I have. I like dogs, but this one. Yes, sis. Okay, what was I saying? Volumizing. Okay, no. For real. Revlon, volumizing mascara. I love it so much. I have a naturally long eyelashes. Thank you, father. Thank you to my dad for those genetics. Because my mom has zero hair. She is... Yeah, so I have naturally long eyelashes and this makes me look like I'm wearing falsies or individuals. And you know, girlies, that's all we need in our lives. A little to give that lie. Do you understand? Know yeah, so I'm going to do that quickly. I'm not going to show it here because I don't have space and I don't want to. So, five minutes, I'll be back. Okay, so look. Okay, look at my eyelash. I don't know if it's focused. How do I focus? There. Oh, why is not autofocus? There we go. See, my eyelashes. It's giving number eight. I want to buy the individuals. Then instead of saying I get number eight. Why one? Yeah, so let's take one more. I'll take one question. Where's my phone? 
I'll take one question. Um, this is going to be a relatively very short video. Again, I have to bounce. Uh, so I don't have the luxuries of staying behind. Okay, so number 15 says, where do you wish you had grown up? Do you think your childhood's natural landscape had a role in the person that you are today? Where do I wish I had grown up? The Hamptons. Calabasas. Kind of like a broke condition. Where else? Yeah, that's the only places I know from America. <laughs> No, yeah, what kind of basses? At some point, I thought like Chris Jenner was supposed to be my mom because I need a momager. Not because of anything else. Yes, they, it's great that they rich, but because I need a momager. My mom is very dope as a human being. She's my friend. She's my choma. We do everything here, right? However, to manage me, she's too impatient for that. Utsana Linda, but on steroids. She's just like, no, babe, do what you have to do and on times. Don't try me. So that's the only reason. But to be quite honest, I'm very satisfied with the way I grew up. All the trials, tribulations, the hardships, all the great moments. They just added to the person that I am. I would you do you think your child yes, it did. Do you think your childhood's natural landscape had a role in the person that you are today? Yes. I grew up in Pinville Soweto. I still live there. By choice. That's a lie. But by choice. It's an amazing neighborhood. Um the street that I live in or the neighborhood itself gives you that family orientation like instilled in you because a lot of the people or our neighbors or the people that I grew up around were in families, you know, so two-parent household, there is the head of the house. Sometimes or most times you find there is a grandfather or a grandmother or both in the household and that was always so great. Funny story. I remember growing up with our next door neighbors, um, Nele Mazul, right? My dad is very baby. Like, he's been here for over 30 years. By here, I mean, uh, and he is very stubborn when it comes to his language. He only speaks his language. So, I remember so my uncle Maganj. So every time he had to speak to Mkul, who was next door, and that is all. It would always be an entire episode for us, because I'd always, if I hear it, I'd call my brother. Yeah, manje, kuri bonte lava ba busy ba ba kacha bo chani la paya ene una bar jail. Why is? And then it's like they understand each other, but they don't, because also lena tadi zulu. Uba suit, wabo, mara ase asatha, poliso on. Yeah, kya ucha la nami, ani nyak joeta guti la wan tulava. Oh, it was amazing. And if at that time there were camera phones, bona YouTube, I would have been there with my father and our neighbor. That is, that was honestly it contributes to the person that I am. I think it also added to my humor and also the most important thing. It made me want to be multilingual. That's why I know so many languages and I speak so many languages fluently, you know, because I respect people's languages. A, B, it also teaches you about um, one's culture once you know their language, because a lot of the things that you speak um, within a language, you can't even translate to English because there's a certain essence in what you're saying. So yeah, no, it definitely did. I love my hood. Pinville, Selection Park, what's up? You know what time it is? Manja? Yeah. What am I doing next? Yes, highlighter, guys. Why one? Okay, yeah. so the highlighter palette that I'm going to use is by Essence. It is Choose Your Glow. This is of the product right um i usually like number three number three this one right here right here it's my favorite one i don't know it just gives that goddess it gives goddess Ay, kirata khambi in khubutsa di pina tseletsa kwa itsa he maria paul this come on it's the one i love it so much so you, I can't find my brush. And then one thing about me, because of this dog, I will not stand up from this chair and go look for my brush. So, using the fingers, using the fingers. So I usually put it just a little under my brow. Ah, some at look guys, I I want to play fedil on a purpose, on a purpose, because why? Yeah, just tata. Already, 
I'm a 50 cent coin after brass. Do you see it? Yeah, China. That's this one. I is the one. And I put it, I don't know what these things are called. But again, Temple of My Eyes. I know what it's called. <laughs> I can see the EV's one. And there's like a specific name. What is this called? You go by, like in the comment section, if you remember, or if you know, and you are in my brain and you understand what I'm trying to say, please just like type it out and then I'll see you in the next video. But what I meant was, yeah. Okay, and then I put it on the bridge of my nose as well. Like just a little button and then go in like that. Okay, it's a bit subtle and I don't want subtle. I want to be like a 50 cent coin after brass. So I don't, I don't want subtle. Subtle is not for me. I am a person of dreamer. Okay, then I always put it here. It sometimes gives me like a mustache. And I'm okay with it because I already have a girl stash. It's not like Odon Sharper and stuff when you see me in the streets. You know? Then lastly, I put it on my cheekbones. I stole this brush from my friend. Um, she was in my mom's face for Miss GE. And she forgot it. Did I not wash it and reuse it? Because why not? It was used on my mom's face. Even me, I will use it. Yes. Thanks, Vero. Yeah, I put it on my cheeks. Some people feel like this is the wrong brush. If you feel that way, buy me the right brush. Thanks. Thank you. Is that simple in life? Don't complain about things you can't fix. Yes, I think that's it. Yes. I think that's the, the only place. Guys, give a hole. You know, I speak a lot. I talk too much. I am a walking radio station 24-7. Even in my sleep, I talk. Ask my siblings, they know. Yes, so I always have to just fix my laugh lines. Um, let's do... I don't know if it's the last question, but let's do number 20. Oh, I don't like this question. <laughs> Okay, number 20 says, uh, from boy. what are you missing from your life, money? The reason why I am poor, because that means I have to work for the money. I don't think I would qualify to date a rich man, because the rich men that I've met are super controlling. And at my age, it's either they are super controlling or they're very old. And then I get the tag attack. So Kibo, let's grow together. Why one? Yeah, so that means I'll have to work in my life because my parents also didn't, they were not smart. They were both broke and they fell in love. Why? Why one? So now the one thing that's missing from my life is money. Please book me and pay me 20,000 Rand. Thank you so much. I also don't like number 25. Jesus. Okay, 25, tell me about an insecurity you overcame. Damn. Okay, so for the longest time in my life, I've always had body insecurity or body dysmorphia for the most part. But it's, I've always been subconscious about my body and how it looks because why I was bullied by very smart people. I don't know where they are today. I don't even want to see them again. But yeah, I was bullied because of being a bit chubbier, not a bit, I was chubbier than the rest, a bit taller than the rest as well. So it was always a thing, you know, it was either the linebacker or even teachers. Um, I think I knowingly would go in, like when they look at you because you're thicker, you're taller, they just assume that you're responsible. Yeah, you're the responsible one. No, I'm just fat. <laughs> That's the only thing, you know. But I am responsible. I'm not taking that away. But so I've always had that insecurity. But I thought that I had gotten over it for the longest time until earlier on this year when I started liking someone. <laughs> yes, I started uh, loving someone. So being or speaking to someone that is in totally secure about the person that they are it makes you want to also be secure fully this then puts you in a moment or in a 
in a silent cycle, in a place where you want to introspect and work on yourself. And working on yourself means breaking down those walls and those walls came tumbling down. And I found out that I have not worked through it. What I did was, I was like, I'm gonna be the baddest you'll ever meet. So that happened. I didn't deal with it, I just didn't address it. You know? But I'm good now. I like I've always liked the way I looked. I've always liked the way I looked. It's just that I've always been insecure about my body because it was always a topic. It was always something you want to talk about. Even in high school, you'd have a gent say, Oh, you're so pretty ish. But ah wena cold. But I'm not even saying that because I'm a nice person. Why aren't you being nice? You could have just kept quiet. But you're like, oh, you're so gorgeous. Your fa and they would like, be specific. Your face is so pretty, but... But your mother. Because you and your mother, me and your mother, I built the same way. So for you to hate on someone that is built like your mom, you have problems. Do you see them? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to do a lip combo. I'm going to do a lip combo. What I... It's not a lip combo. It's... I'm doing my lips. Right? So I use... Uh, the Black Opal Eye and Lip Liner. It's brown. It's color 002. I use this with Avon's... Avon's Captivating. It's like a cute pink cute nude pink I guess see it I love it so much it makes sense on my lips I'm going to do it off camera because how am I going to show you I'm not well what acquainted with this equipment yet so as soon as I have been we'll make it work but for now let me do this off screen I almost said off air off screen then I'll be back just now okay I just did my lips um I don't know, it's giving, it's giving, I don't know, <laughs> I like this combo, it's either I do this pink nude lip or I do a red lip, and then other times just the glossy lip, I, I like me some gloss, my gloss scale, but yes, so let's look for the last one, oh this is so mean, Anyeke. Okay, I will say no. Um, I'll be lying. Have you ever been loved by someone you didn't love back? Yes. Yes. And... Ish. Nelly Moruti. Yo, I we did not like, yo. Nan rata lo na ba tu a o tsala ma mo e ko ko monyala ke le thosanyana ya na go kirkin e ko monyala di mo mzuko wa utsa mistru so point where he left our church <laughs> well he's in the same church just a different branch so it is yeah that happened oh oh my dear oh <laughs> But I did tell him that I'm not interested and I took one whole show and yeah that was that. We spoke like a little bit as friends. We're cool. Whenever it goes to Eastern Cape Afro Nele, it's Teto and like what happened. He's like, oh, oh in the back of my mind, I'm like, so Zim does it. Hi, Ut Sanding Nobel I'm not lelepa. Uzuti hey. No, I've never been to the Eastern Cape and I want to be. I want to go at some point. But I that opportunity was not for me. That opportunity. I'm busy, you know. They've been right. But yeah, so he was a shame. And he's charming. He he is charming. He's good for whoever likes such things. I've I've never been interested in someone like him before. And I don't think it will ever happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I wish him. I wish him well, though. I know that now they, he's in Germany for a little bit. I think for three months, if I'm not mistaken, three to six months. Oh, like we're so cool. We're so good. Not friends. We're not friends because he's so. What I mean that means a moon, but I'm not. <laughs> but he knew. No, I'm not sure. So 
yeah after that he realized after that realization he was just like you know we can't be friends but we're still cool so i know he's in germany right now um with a couple of other church people and yeah man he's dope i mean i wish him the best of luck i just realized that the people that went to germany that I feel like loved me and I didn't love them back because nearly Baruti or they'll be they're going to become Baruti by two and they went to Gimatosa. What does that say about me though? Does that mean like God offered me God fearing men and I was just like no? Maybe I just I, but I don't like bad boys. I almost lied. I don't. I don't like buttholes. Who did a butthole? or is not for me. Thanks. No. But yeah, maybe it says a lot about. Maybe God tried, and he was just like, "I'm done." I'm so glad he was done. <laughs> I never. Moruti. I never. I never blow the bag. Oh. No, leave it. Maybe not. I never. Maybe not right now. I, Maraki Boni, fun. I think on that note, let's just wrap this up because, wow. But yeah, I wish them the best of luck in Germany. I I know one has a girlfriend now, and I'm very happy for him. The one that I was speaking about, um. I don't know what's going on in his life. He probably has a girlfriend. He's clean. All right, guys. Shame. <laughs> he can. Like, all right. I can't do wrong. He's more wrong. Eva? Eva. You're right. I can't do, guys. Um, I tried. But yeah. On that note, we're going to wrap it up. I have to leave. It is almost musi ah, you it's late eh? <laughs> i need to wrap this up and out of this place thank you so much for watching till this point make sure to like comment and subscribe what was your favorite part and also which uh, question do you feel like i did not answer to your satisfaction this is the last video for the series get to know me so please let me know if you'd like me to revisit some questions and Go in like you want me to, but until next time, bye.